welcome to the Cohen Curricula and we just wanted to show you today how to use our TIPA process. In your packs that you've got, you've got a TIPA worksheet, you've actually got a TIPA workshop which actually takes you through with a worked example, it's a generic example, really important so that you can start adapting that process to any of the texts you're studying and considering that many of the texts you're studying now need related material, you'll be able to adapt that generic model to those texts. In your worksheet, you will see that it actually has four headings, technique, evidence, purpose and analysis. So, as you would know by now, there is a great emphasis on knowing how language shapes meaning and why sh language shapes meaning. So we have to actually identify the techniques that actually create that meaning. That tells us then, as markers, it tells us then as your teachers, that you understand that texts are constructed for a very specific purpose and language is constructed for a purpose. So let's have a look at this little simile here. I've actually taken this from Mao's Last Dancer by Li Xuan Sin. So it is a simile, it uses like or as, so we know that it'll create a comparative or it'll create an image. So the simile, like a feather in a whirlwind. Lovely and simple and straightforward. Then you have your purpose column. Also in your pack, you've actually got a list of purpose words. So to connote, to create, to construct. In this instance, we're going to have to imply. It's a very strong suggestion. So to imply, and for analysis I'm putting in here, what does it imply? His sense of insecurity and chaos in his new environment. So this contextual is talking about when he goes off to the ballet school in Beijing. So it's quite simple when we set it out in this way to write a sentence. The simile, like a feather in a whirlwind, implies Li Xuan Singh's sense of insecurity and chaos in his new environment. That would be very nice in just a very simple sentence, but if we want to actually build our knowledge of techniques and show that we understand techniques do more than just something at a simplest level, we can then start building. We can say here that a simile is a comparative. Similes are always a comparative, so they compare two things or one thing with another, and we know that they want to create an image for us. So if we look at the comparative here, it's with his life as being in a whirlwind. So we can look here as this comparative of his life as a whirlwind. And that's because it wants to construct that particular image. And if we think of a whirlwind and it's gyring out of control and spinning out of control, it can pick us up and it can throw us away. So it's an image of his world gyring out of control. So again, the comparative constructed through the simile like a feather in a whirlwind emphasises that his life is gyring out of control. We can also build in symbolism symbolism of the feather. So we know feathers are light, we know that they are transient, we know that they have no strength of their own. So if we look at the symbolism of the feather is there to create the emotional fragility that he's experiencing as he confronts his fears. So we can build up through all of this TIPA one particular little sentence. So we can have the comparative constructed in the simile like a feather in a whirlwind exposes Li Xuan Sing's sense of chaos and insecurity as he enters his new world. The feather is symbolic of his fragility, suggesting his isolation from his family is confusing and he feels he is jarring out of emotional control. So you can see here that it's a really simple structure to use with your TIPA. What you will do with your TIPA is in your paragraphs you would have a topic sentence, you would have a context sentence, then you could put this taper in here and then you would have a concluding sentence, preferably with an evaluative adverb. If you use the table that's been put into your pack, the essay table, you will see where this is built into that and the taper process is built in. I hope this helps you to understand how to use our taper process. Thank you.